What up, Skyrim gang? How's it doing? How we how we been? It's been almost a month since my last episode. Sorry about that. Been busy. I've started student teaching and I barely have any time. I leave the house at 7 in the morning. I get home at like 8.30 or 9 p.m. I'm tired. I eat dinner. I plan for the next day. I go to bed, basically. So my free time is very limited. It's basically just on weekends. But I've said before in other videos, if you just watch my Skyrim videos, you probably don't know this, but uh, I'm going to try to record some stuff on weekends and then post it gradually throughout the week as much as I can. But my schedule is going to be a bit weird. If you want me to talk about that in depth a little bit more, go check out my video on that where the power went out and I'm like in my bed and you can just see it's like me with my phone right up to my face. So go check that out if you're interested in just a little bit more info. But let's actually get into the Skyrim part of the video that you all came here for. Panda, I see you. Don't comment that. Delete it. I know you probably already commented it. Delete it. Let's get into this. All right, so last episode was my attempt to go and check out the vampires at Broken Fang Cave. We all know how that went. Not well at all. I'm currently becoming a vampire. Uh, my health and stamina are going down. So, I don't care what you're talking about. So, my girl with me? Let's go. Okay, Lydia, I need to get healed. So I was told how to heal that. I just have to go to the statue right out here that I've touched before, but I didn't really quite know what it did. Now I do. If I get poisoned or in start becoming a vampire or something like that, I guess I just go to that and that heals me. So that's good to know. Why is my stamina... Okay. I, it wasn't letting me run for a second there. That was weird. Where is it? Right here. Ta-da! Shrine of Talos. And now I should be good? Are we good? Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Also, I was told you can go to here and see active effects. The Warrior Stone All Combat skills increase 20% faster. All skills improve 5% faster for 8 hours. Oh! You get a rested bonus. For resting. Good to know. Increased shock resistance. Your Nord Blood gives you 50% resistance to frost. Oh, I didn't know that. Now I do. Time between shouts is reduced by 20% by the blessing of Talos. Is that just because I got I grabbed this real quick? Increase your magicka by 20 points. Okay. Where did I what gives wait, what gives me that? Is that one of the I'm clicking on things. I don't mean to be clicking on things like this. Is that one of the things here? Yes. It's the ring I have. Alright. Cool. What do you Lydia, what are you talking about? Like honestly, for real. Okay. So, today, I should, and this may be a shorter episode than usual, just purely due to time constraints, but today I'm going to check out, not that, I'm going to go talk to the Greybeards, I think, because I need to go to High Hrothgar, which is, oh, 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 up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, remove it. That's what, like, way over, no. I thought it was up in solitude, is it? Am I reading, hang on, I'm crazy, I'm hitting, I'm just hitting buttons. The Greybeards at... The Greybeards have summoned me to their monastery of High Hrothgar on the, sh on the slopes of the Throat of the World. They seem to have learned the mysterious power that I gained when I killed the dragon outside Whiterun. So this is the main quest, I'm assuming. Then we got a few other things. Uh, oh yeah, we were looking for the Red Guard woman. I gotta refresh myself, but I'm sure you guys could probably use a refresher too. I've agreed to help Danica Piercepring repair the Gildergreen, the large tree outside the Temple of Kynareth and Whiterun. Did I, did I agree to do that? In Rissan's note, he details that he's been attacked by bandit gangs calling themselves the Saints and Seducers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have to go to that and deal with that as well. This Rissan is the Khajiit dude that we met outside the city. To become more skilled at fishing, I should vis visit the Rift and Fishery. Uh, some random things. Visit the College of Winterfell. Okay. So, where currently is... That's the Broken Fang Cave. I don't... I hit the wrong button again. I'm stupid. That's the Broken Fang Cave. I need to go... Where? For the College of... Or no, High Frothgar. Oh, right here. Oh. I've not discovered this location yet. Place marker? Yes. Sure. Sure. That is what I need to do, right? Let me just absolutely double, 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 triple check. Mark it. Speak to the Greybeards. Their monastery of High Hrothgar on the throat on the slopes of the throat of the world. Um, on the slopes. Oh, right here. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm just gonna delete this. No, wait, how do I r remove it? There we go. 
Ivarstead. Speak to the Greybeards. Okay, so I think I need to take this path, come around here, follow the river, go around the mountain, because I don't want to go up and through the mountain. I got my horse, so I can figure that out. Let's do that then. I don't think there's anything else much that I need to do here. Oh, I can sell my dragon teeth and bones and stuff. Is that the teeth? Oh, wait, why am I... Wait, what time is it? Why am I breaking into 6.49 a.m.? Oh, are they not open yet? They're probably not open yet. I'm just gonna... Y'all got... Can I buy some cabbages? I'll... Dude, I'll pay for these. I mean, there's a guard right there. Not Lydia. Seriously. There's a guard right there. Hey, 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 hey. Are you... Do you man the... No, you're too poor to man this stall. Who mans this stall? I'm not, bro. Why are you trying to cause a problem? Okay. I ain't asking for much, just a few seconds. Well, how, now I feel bad for him. How much do I have? 363 gold. That. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the bannered mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. I'm not gonna feed your bad habit, dude. Come on. Nothing more to talk about. Yeah, take your one gold and go away. That's not gonna buy you anything. Okay, how do I... Shut up! Shut up! Stop talking! Stop! Ah! Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. I want these cabbages, too. How do I... Can I get in here yet? Oh, no. What time is it? Following the leader, the le There's a house for sale. Breeze Hall. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. Oh, really? I'm sure it costs way more than I can afford. Um, but what are you talking about? Like the keep, like Dragon's Reach, the steward up in the keep. Very descriptive of you, sir. Maybe I go up here real quick, because I want to sell my stuff just to get some gold real quick. But the shop's not open, and I'm not going to break in. Let me see if I can find the steward. Are you the steward? Or is your name Steward? Apparently not. Let's see. What we got here? Steward. Steward. Are you Steward? No, you're Nelk here. Steward. Stu. Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Say that again. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boot. Leave me alone. Okay, alright. Look, I literally he asked for it. What else was I supposed to do? <sighs> I'm sorry. I literally told him to say it again and he did, and I My father's boots. Good job. I'm gonna leave before I do something I regret. Excuse me, sir. Are you Stuart? I serve Yarl Balgro as Stuart. Ah, yes, you are. Hey, can I buy a house? 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 I want to buy a house. Let's purchase a house in the city. Five thousand gold. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Got it. Five thousand gold. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to check how much it was. And I'm nowhere near that amount right now with 362. That's fine. I'll get there eventually. All right. So I'm hoping now, by the time I get to the shop, it should be open. It's almost eight. I'm assuming they open at eight. Oh, this game looks so good. Here, let's see if I remember uh, how to how to do the the the. Th I I don't I don't remember how to do the camera commands. I don't remember it all. I'll have to look it up again. It's been a month. My favorite drinking buddy. I, I literally said I'm not gonna give you any drink, so why are you still pursuing me like I'm going to do that? You open over here, bro? You open? No. Oh, no. When are they open? I have to wait till... Okay, it's not eight yet, actually. I guess I'll pick some little flowers around here. Hello. I mean, no harm. I'm just picking some flowers. 
No, I just said that. No, no trouble, no trouble. Let's go. 8 a.m. I was correct. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, what do you got for sale? They call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Treasures. Why do you say it like that? Can I sell you my dragon stuff? Dragon bones, dragon scales. Look at that, dude. Why is my speech increased? Because I'm so... Oh. <sighs> he doesn't have enough money. Do come back. Well, sell those for a profit, dude. And then I will come back if you can have more cash. But you're currently a little short on cash. More flowers. Okay. Did I... Uh... Real quick, I'm just going to check the flowers. Where are those flowers? Ingredients? Blue Mountain Flower. Restore... Okay, so... Glowing mushroom. So when I eat these things, like when I ate some of this stuff, nightshade I know is deadly because duh, that's what nightshade is. But if I eat some of this stuff, I'll figure out what the stuff. What if I just straight up ate some cotton? What happens then? Resist magic. Okay. All right. Sorry, gonna move this a little bit. Sorry. All right. Let's head out. Let's go to High Hrothgar. We're on a mission. We got people to see and things to do. I don't have enough time to dilly dally. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Is that my horse? Can I can I see my how do I call my horse? I forgot. Can you call your horse or is it just perpetually there? This is my horse, right? Yeah. Okay. Weird. Alright, so we're heading... Let's see, I'm just going to put a little marker over here so I can kind of know where to head because I have to go around. My dude, just go. It's not that hard, Mr. Horse, man. Come on. Just going to ride the river. Horse animations are a little janky, but this game is 13 years old, so... Can you really fault it? Not entirely. A little bouncy. Oh, the music. Oh my goodness, the music. Can you jump on the horse? I forgot. Oh, you can. Sick. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just galloping over your oxen. Wee! <laughs> Looks so majestic. Wee! <laughs> the whimsical horse jump. All right, how do I get across? Um... Now nah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go this way. Where's Lydia? Is she still following me? Probably. I wish she could just get on my horse. That would be nicer. So if I go around this way, maybe I should get around to the other bank. Let's try that. Mm, yeah, I'll come up this way. Horse travel is a bit off-putting. It's weird with. Keyboard and mouse. Oh, wait. How do I get off? E. Okay. Can I pick these? Mountain flowers. Do you have to, like, pet your horse or anything? Take care of it? Like Red Dead? Groom it and give it some food? Are these wolves up here? Are you kidding me? You better not... No, I'm passing. I'm passing by. I'm pa I'm not here to fight. They're gonna they're gonna fight. Okay. Well, face me, cowards! I bring the full might of the Foos. of the foos on your. <laughs> there we go. God no! Oh, oh also I learned, and I promptly forgot that only heavy attacks take up stamina. Can I take your arrow here? No. Can't steal Lydia's arrows? Only heavy- okay, okay, okay. I'm forgetting that if you just release stamina, it doesn't actually stop you from running. Only heavy attacks use up stamina. So I can light attack all day long with this thing and not use up any stamina. Sorry, I had to stop to smell the roses and maybe pick a few because I am a collector. 
in games. I like to scavenge and collect as much as I possibly can. All right, back on the heart. Oh, 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 it's a skeever. It's a skeever. Bam, in your face. Okay. That's it. Oh, wait, he had some gold on him. <laughs> Where were you hiding that gold, dude? Did you eat some gold? <laughs> okay. All right, let's let's keep going. How are we doing? How are we do I can Okay, I can remove that. Just head around the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She oh, Lord. What in the world? She'll be coming round the mountain, and there are like seven wolves on my trail. They're still trying to kill me as I jump off my horse. One hit to the face, and then they're dead. Stop hitting my horse. Come here. Deserved. TBH. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a little overkill, but sure, sure. Where's the other one? Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, it's right here. Lydia, do you want to ride on the horse? Because, like, you can... You can hop on, girl. If it's possible. You, you can... You can come on the horse. You don't have to run. She's got to get to her... Uh, she's got to get her steps in. It's fine. Let her run. She's doing a good job. I appreciate your help, but my goodness, girl, you don't have to run. A mammoth? Am I running into a... Uh, uh, there's some giants there. I'm gonna take the long way around. I'm gonna take the long way around. Not gonna go and face the giants. Can I please just kill this little ram right here? Uh, oh, wow. Okay, first try. Horseback combat is a little bit janky, I remember, but it should be fun. Goat. Goat horns. Leg of goat. No, no, I don't want to talk to Lydia! She cornered me on my horse! She literally sandwiched me into my horse. Are you kidding me? Lydia, girl, I love you, but my goodness. What are we looking at? Winterhold. I... Ivarsred? Ivarsred? Wind... No. No! 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 I'm trying to click and drag the map. Obviously, that's not how it goes. Winterhold. Dawnstar. Windhelm. Riften. Ivarsted. Uh, okay, that, that does not look like a T. It looks like Ivar Sred. I thought it was Ivar Iversted. Ivarsted. The only thing that would make this better is if I... Who are you? I come in peace? I come in peace? The only thing that would make this better is if I could pick up resources on horseback. I come in peace! This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to No! But you let me through and I don't kill you. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. We'll see about that. 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 That's what I thought. What else you got? What else you got? Corundum ingot. What in the world is that? Uh, none of that stuff looks good. Who else? There's some more. There's others in here. I'll take your healing potion, sure. Hello! Ah! Murder! I can't wait to count out your coin as he's getting skewered through the skull with my mace, bro. Boots, boots, shoes. Do, do, do. Oh! Attacks are slow, but I prefer slower attacks. But oh, wait, wait! Iron boots, iron gauntlets. Aren't the aren't the boots I have the the magical ones? I'm not giving those up. Those are cool. How about gauntlets? What are we looking at in terms of gauntlets? I'm not wearing. Oh, I'm wearing the oh fur bracers. No, 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 dude, give me your gauntlets. Actually, I'll take those. Thank you. I actually will take those gauntlets. Yeah, sure. Bandit chief, huh? Go ahead. 
Oh, 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 oh. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Iron shield. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is it... Wait, what? Oh, because I don't have a shield. I was like, why is it plus 24? That's insane. Because I don't have a shield. So it makes sense. 55 gold. Let's go. Yeah, this was worth it. No way I'm going to pay them 200 gold just to... What is it more? There's one more red dot. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting... Am I getting sniped? Where is this dot? And the dot's gone. Okay. That's fine. I'll take it. Maybe he was up here or something and I just... Didn't... Notice. Oh, this... Dude, let me just... Let me just sit down and just contemplate life. For a bit. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I think it's... Uh, what is it? Is it BM? No. Is it... Is it, uh, FM? Is it... No. Uh, I looked it up. It's TM. Oh, beautiful. Can I... Oh, there we go. I still had the console commands up. I just didn't notice it. Look at this. Just a dude on a cliff. Uh, and Lydia's ruining the shot. I'm trying to... I'm going to take a screenshot here, but she's kind of just in the way. Okay, it's me and my girl. Look at us just chilling. Let me do a little, let me do one this way with like the forest in the background and there we go. Just us chilling. Awesome. I forgot what the one to move it is. What is it like CFT or something? I remember it being like moving up the keyboard in a certain way, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Anyway, let's move on. I'm not going to look that up because I don't care for right now. Be careful. What time is it currently? 11 or 1 a.m. All right, we're making good time. I'll take some wine and some bread and some goat cheese. I think I'm good on weight, actually, too. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Bowl, some tanker. Oh! Oh! A cabbage. Oh! Let's go. Let's go, W cabbage. Anyway, I have to go back to White Run and buy those cabbages. I'm a, I'm a man of the law. I'll, I'll pay for some cabbages if it means I can get cabbages. Then I have to save up for a home and have a place to put all my cabbages. What do we got? Tomatoes? Sick. What do we got? Nothing. What do we got? Okay, hit the wrong button again. Sack of flour. Good for some baking and some carrots. All right. Okay. This is very good. I have a pickaxe now. So I can actually do the stuff that I was saying I regretted not getting a pickaxe for earlier. Ooh, what were they doing up here? Alchemy Lab. Frost Miriam. Elves Ear. Garlic. Will that help with the vampires or is that not a thing in this? Oh my goodness gracious, we got a lot of books here. I'm not going to read them all. Let me just see. A Dance in Fire. Volume 4. What do we got? 18 boss Mary and one cyberdelic former senior clerk for an Imperial Building Commission. Boring! Can I take these books with me? Because I want to... Mysterious. Akavir means Dragonland. Tamriel means Dawn's Beauty. At Atmora means Elder Wood. Only the Red Guards know what Yokuda meant. Well, I didn't know that. Good, good, okay. I'm not going to read this whole thing because this is a lot. The Song of Pelinal, Volume 7. Editor's note, Volume 1 through 6. I don't care, I don't care. I'm slowly growing less interested in the random books. These are things that I can look up later. Oh, here we go. Like, Life of Uriel Septim the Seventh. Like, stuff like this might be interesting. But also... Uh, maybe not, because there's just a lot. I came into this game like, I'm going to read all the books, I'm going to get into the lore, and then when these books take... Okay, I didn't mean to take the drum, but I have a drum now. When these books take, like, 15 minutes for me to... First try! Let's go. These books take, like, 15 minutes for me to get through, there's no way I'm going to do that. I'm not going to sit through that for every single book in this game, because that's way too much time. You guys don't want to see all that. It might be cool to see me learning the lore. Can I not pick this up? Like, for real? It's just a decoration on the table or something? 
Might be cool to see me learn about the lore. Itchy nose, sorry. But ultimately, I'm not going to subject myself to that because that's a little bit rough. Did I go up here? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's where the chair is, of course. So I can just go back down now and continue on my journey. Are you okay? Are you g okay? All right. Um, sure. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen and move on. That's okay. Anyway, I don't remember if I finished my sentence earlier, but I said it would be really good if I could pick flowers while on horseback, but I can't. And I'm not going to always get off a horse to pick stuff. But it's fine. So, I'm about down now. So I need to kind of... Oh my goodness, I keep trying to drag the map. So, I need to just kind of go south from here. I'll come down and then start making my way to the south. We'll see what we get. There's a lot of, like, weird stuff in the sky. Not sure what to make of all of it. Can we run, please? Oh, I see. So when I run, I turn. I'm, I'm trying, still trying to figure this out. When I run, I turn a little bit less sharply when I turn the camera. Like, here's walking speed turning the camera. Like, the horse pretty much turns with the camera. But if I'm running and I turn the camera, it's a slower turn. Interesting. Okay. Winterhold and Ivarstead over here. Oh, look at the little fox in the water. Oh, he's woman. I'm just gonna leave him alone. He can do his own thing. I'm not here to torture the animals. Ivarstead this way. I'm on the right path. Good to know. Hello, fox. How are you? Good day. Lovely to see you. Is this Iverstead? Am I here already? No. Ah, oh, I literally, I keep trying to click and drag the map because I'm just used to that in other games. It's this way, right? Oh, there's some dead people on this path. That's, that's not a good sign. Lost knife hideout discovered. I am nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. South, this way. So if I if I do that, I'm supposed to be heading that way. But I think I need to kind of go around here to get there. You know what? You know what? What's the worst that can happen? We'll do a quick uh, quick save real quick. Let's see what's in here. Worst that happens is I die, and I just don't come back here. I pull out my. Actually, I, I come in peace. Can I can I join you guys, actually? No, I can't join these guys. You don't think I could do it? Wasn't our last catch a cave bear? Yeah. Oh, jeez. No, someone's not there. Oh, sick. That went well. Lost knife, cage key. Take some arrows. Okay. What do y'all got here? Some potions, thank you. Some cheese, some wine, some bread, some more wine. Tanning rack. Y'all got anything good in these barrels? Some juniper berries, that one's empty. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> Jump, please. Let me see. Oh, I didn't want to... Okay, okay, alright, I didn't want to do that. Let's see how good my sniping skills are. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I got him. <laughs> alright, and now we... What in the world is this? Oh, it's hanging, it's not a glitch, okay. 
No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Juke him. Juke him. Sidestep. Sidestep. Get. You do no damage. Okay. Wait, where the. Where'd bro go? Did he fall in the water? He disappeared. He may have. He may have fallen in the water. I think he. I think that's him. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's floating towards his watery grave. Gonna just leave him alone. Let's keep looking. Some apples. What in the world kind of fort is this place? What kind of hideout? Kind of janky looking. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Ahaha. Time to end this, this game. Lydia. Kill. <laughs> Smacked her with her shield. <laughs> Words and philosophy. Oh, two hand increased. And I leveled up. Sick. Lady Benoch's words and philosophy lady elena benok former master of the valen wood fighters guild and head of the emperor's personal guard in the imperial city has been leading a campaign to reacquaint the soldiers of tamriel with a sword i met with her on three different occasions for the purposes of this book the first time was at her suite in the palace on the balcony overlooking the gardens below i was early for the interview which had taken me nearly six months to arrange but she gently chided me for not being even earlier I've had time to put up my defenses now, she said, her bright green eyes smiling. Lady Benok is a Bosmer, a wood elf, and like her ancestors, took to the bow in her early years. She excelled at the sport, and by the age of 14, she had joined the hunting party of her tribe as a Jaxper, a long-distance shooter. During the black year of 396, when the Par... 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 Par no. When the Peric tribe began their rampage through the southeastern Valenwood with the aid of powers from the Somerset Isle, Lady Benock fought the futile battle to keep her tribe's land. I killed someone for the first time when I was sixteen, she says now. I don't remember it very well. He or she was just a blur on the horizon where I aimed my bow. It meant no more to me than shooting animals. I probably killed a hundred people like that during that summer and fall. I didn't really feel like a killer until that winter tide when I learned what it was like to look into a man's eyes as you spilled his blood. It was a scout from the Peric tribe who surprised me while I was on camp watch. We surprised each other, I suppose. I had my bow at my side, and I just panicked, trying to string an arrow when he was half a yard away from me. It was the only thing I knew to do. Of course, he struck first with his blade, and I just fell back in shock. You always remember the mistakes of your first victim. His mistake was assuming, because he had drawn blood and I had fallen, that I was dead. I rushed at him the moment he turned from me towards the sleeping camp of my tribesmen. He was caught off guard, and I wrested his blade away from him. I rested? I think I've heard that before. I think it's like old time he wrestled. I don't know. I don't know how many times I stabbed at him by the time I stopped. When the next watch came to relieve me, my arms were black and blue with strain. There was not a solid piece of him left. I had literally cut him into pieces. You see, I had no concept of how to fight, or how much it took to kill a man. Lady Benock, aware of this dif deficiency in her education, why did I just forget what that word was, began teaching herself swordsmanship at once. You can't learn how to use a sword in Valenwood, she says. Which isn't to say Bosma can't use blades, but we're largely self-taught. As much as it hurt when my tribe found itself homeless, pushed to the north, it did have one good aspect. It afforded me the opportunity to meet Red Guards. Studying all manners of weapon wielding under the tutelage of Warday Akor, Lady Benoch excelled. She became a freelance adventurer, traveling through the wilds of southern Hammerfell and northern Valenwood, protecting caravans and visiting dignitaries from the various dangers indigenous to the population. Unfortunately, before we were able to pursue her story of her early years any further, Lady Benoch was called away on urgent summons from the Emperor. Such is often the case with the Imperial Guard, and in these troubled times, perhaps more so than the past. When I tried to contact her for another talk, her servants informed me that their mistress was in Skyrim. Another month, another month passed, and when I visited her suite, I was told she was in High Rock. To her credit, Lady Benock actually sought me out for our second interview on Sun's Dusk of that year. I was in a tavern called I saw that I was in a tavern in the city called the Blood and Rooster when I felt her hand on my shoulder. She sat down at the rude table and continued her tale as if it had never been interrupted. 
She returned to the theme of her days as an adventurer and told me about the first time she ever felt confident with the sword. This is interesting. This book is kind of fun to read. Like some of the stuff in here, some of the books have been very diplomatic. This is more like a story and it's kind of interesting. I owned at that time an enchanted daikatana, quite a good one, of daedric metal. It wasn't an original akaviri, not even of design. I didn't have that kind of money, but it served my primary purpose of delivering as much damage with a little effort on my part as possible. Akor had taught me how to fence, but when faced with a life or death situation, I always fell back on the old overhand wallop. Classic. A pack of orcs had stolen some gold from a local chieftain in Medite. Me is, is it Medite or Meditea? Probably Meditea or something. And I went looking for them in one of the ubiquitous dungeons that dot the countryside in that region. There were the usual rats and giant spiders, and I was enough a veteran by then to dispatch them with relative ease. The problem came when I found myself in a pitch black room and all around me, I heard the grunts of orcs nearing in. I waved my sword around me, connecting with nothing, hearing their footsteps coming ever nearer. Somehow I managed to hold back my fear and to remember the simple exercises Master Akor had taught me. I listened. Thank you, level up available. You guys can't see it, but like in the top left corner where my camera is, it just said level up available. I listened, stepped sideways, swung, twisted, stepped forward, swung a circle, turned around, sidestepped, swung. My instinct was right. The orcs had gathered in a circle around me, and when I found a light, I saw that they were all dead. That's when I focused on my study of swordplay. I'm stupid enough to require a near-death experience to see the practical purposes, you see. Lady Benock spent the remainder of the interview responding in her typically blunt way to the veracity of various myths that surrounded her and her career. It was true that she became the master of the Valenwood Fighters Guild after winning a duel with the former master, who was a stooge of the Imperial Batter Mage, the traitor Yagar Tharn. It was not true that she was the one responsible for the Valenwood Guild's dis disintegration two years later. Actually, the membership in the Valenwood chapter was healthy, but in Tamriel overall, the mood was not conductive for the continued existence of a nonpartisan organization of freelance warriors, and now it's getting a little bit political and I'm getting bored. It was true that she first came to the Emperor's attention when she defended Queen- Okay, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh geez. Oh geez. Oh gosh. Alright, well that's- that's fun. Cool. So we learned a little bit about her. She's cool. She's a warrior. Uh, nice. Sick. Cool. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh. This cave looks pretty cool. The art design of this game is great. I think Oblivion looks better. Art design what? Art design wise, but uh or like color wise. But this is still pretty sick. Where are they? I guess I was just what was that? Someone there? Must have been the wind. What if I just <laughs> come here, come get me. Come get me, cowards. I heard <laughs> Let's go, Lydia. Anyway, level up. I gotta do this. Um, <clears throat> what should I? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Stamina. Stamina. Give me more stamina. You know, there's nothing a good stamina level up can't fix. Oh, they're throwing rocks at us. Look out. Gold, 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 gold. Oh, you were the one I hit. Oh, am I still crouching? Is that why I wasn't swinging? Yes. Wait. No papaya gold, nor mead. Ah, ha, ha. You have one arrow. Give it. Give it. At least the arrows don't weigh anything. So that's useful. Another ingot. Okay, okay, all right, all right. We are doing great. This cave was actually a great decision to explore. Really glad I came here. I'm getting some cool stuff here. Getting some gold, some more arrows. How am I doing on arrows, actually? Can, wait, where do I see that? In here? 176. All right, we're doing just fine with arrows. What is this? Just some extra fortification from ropes. Hunting bow, some honeycomb in the barrel. 
Oh, wait, wait, no. Hey, watch it. Lydia, what are you complaining about? Shut up. There's more to do in here. I gotta check out this place and then I'll... And I'll keep going. Now ain't this a surprise? Aha! Bandit outlaw! Oh, bam! Bam in the face. Oh, nothing like a mace to the face, you know? Sick. Lots of barrels to search. Potatoes, give them. Empty barrel, don't care. Barrel, empty. A gourd. Y'all got, uh... Y'all got any of them, uh, ooh, chest, I can search this. 83 gold, let's go, let's go. Y'all got any of them, uh, cabbage? Oh, oh my goodness, I thought this was an axe. I looked at this and I thought this was like a golden stylized axe. I was like, what in the world is that? I need this. No, it's, it's literally just a flower. Fine. Whatever, I don't care. Um, um... Um, okay. I think that's all I can do here. Let's push deeper into the hideout. Where's Lydia? Where did she go? Did she get stuck in this place? That's the last I saw of her. She was in here. Watch it! Okay, alright, she's here. I've got like a bad feeling about this. Shut up, Miss Star Wars. I missed. Dang it. It had a little bit too much of a curve to it. Ah ha ha ha. Get wrecked. Lydia, move. Lydia. I almost shot her. I almost shot her in the face. Bam. 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 Oh, bam. Get wrecked. Nothing good. Some gold. Run. Run. Sneak up on him. There we go. WME once again. Tick. Alrighty. What do you got in here? <gasps> oh, nope. Those are just gourds. Never mind. I thought they were cabbages. I thought they were cabbages. Grilled leeks. Search. Cupboard. Boy's yellow tunic. No, there's kids here. Well, I'll just have to kill them. These people had families. They're going to pull a... Yes, more cell piles. They're going to pull a Last of Us 2 and be like, Oh, my child, I have three children at home. I'm abandoning. As you kill them and then you feel bad about it. Oh, oh, dude, did I take your... I'm sorry. <laughs> did I take his stuff? Huh? I did. I think I took his armor. Oh, I don't want to... How do I... How do I drop? Uh... How does one drop? Store? Ah! I'm on your side. Well, maybe don't stand where I'm swinging then. God, okay. I kind of got disoriented for a second. Had to regain my bearings. That's what that was. Sometimes I just forget where I am. 64 gold. Oh, this was such a good idea. I'm going to keep this out, actually. This was such a good idea. Yo, I could start a tankard collection, too. That's kind of insane. That's kind of crazy, actually, for real. It's a lot of tankards. But I think they weigh more than cabbages. Green apples, potion of minor healing, wine. I have a lot of healing potions, actually, I think. Let me check. How many do I have? Uh, oh, only 18. I thought I had more than that. <clears throat> Whatever. Orsinium and the Orcs. I probably don't care about this, but I'm just going to read it because it probably, maybe, I don't know, gives me some reading stats. Is there a reading stat? I don't know. The year was... I don't care. Hello? Banditos, iron arrow, 
Oh, flute. I'll add that to my instrument collection. I got a drum and a flute. More arrow. More Hello. More arrow. Lydia, why did you knock that arrow out of the thing? 217 arrows. I am filling up on arrows. That's kind of crazy. Hello. Who is here? Can I fall down there? I can. So I gotta be careful. I hear dudes. Can I change around the... I have two hunting bows. Okay. Can I change around the order of things in my favorite slot? Probably. I don't know how, but... Okay. Okay, dude. Oh, all right. Come here. Gotcha, sucker. Come here. Get him, Lydia. Get him. Thank you. I didn't even have to do anything. Gold, iron arrow. Who else is here? Hello. Maybe I'll just, um... You picked a bad day to get shot in the face, friend. Bam. Bam, you're dead. Ba Wait, are you? You're wounded. Oh, oh, this one right here. How did I not even notice this dude? Come here. Come here. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Run, 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 run. Oh, you have like no health. What are you talking about? Tomorrow. Oh, that's Lydia. Oops, 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 oops. My bad. Bandit. Thug. Get thugged. There we go. Am I getting sniped? By who? Oh. How are you not dead? I'm getting sniped. I'm getting sniped. The only thing to do is to snipe her back. Boy, shut up. <laughs> right to the fa- Wait, how is he not dead? How are you not dead? Two arrows in your head, my guy. How are you not dead? Yo, bars, kinda. Now you pay. Oh, what, was that Lydia saying that? Or was that- There's someone off to my right. Missed. Miss me! Miss me! Coward! Let's go. Is that a creature? I'm just gonna kill it. Oh, oh! Saber cat. Maybe I shouldn't have angered it. But it's fine. Hello! Just gonna shoot you. Don't mind me. I don't wanna actually... You know, I'm just... I'm not gonna waste this. I can probably hit him through the bars, right? Yep. Tooth arrow. I didn't even unlock that. I just I didn't have to even unlock it. I could just open it right up. I could just grab him through the bars. Perfect. Bandito. Alta wine. Salmon steak. Lots of good stuff here. Gold. What? Why am I slow? Why am I slow currently? What did what did I what did I hit? What did I hit? What did I hit? What was wait? What's the button for for slowing? What did I I I hit something? I hit the slow button. What? <laughs> I don't have any effects, do I? No. I hit I hit a walk button or something, right? What what's the walk button? What did I press? I'm pressing every single button here. You're ca Oh, I'm stupid. I'm just gonna end the episode here, man. Like, ugh. I'm so dumb. What am I- what am I currently carrying? I don't need this. I don't need- drop that. I don't need the daggers. I don't need the war axe. I need the pickaxe, actually. I need that. think that's okay I'm just gonna drop some stuff that I don't need that's worth 150 though I kind of want to keep that oh I meant to sell the shield too dang it whatever it's fine it's okay just drop all that on the ground 
Oh, I didn't finish grabbing the stuff from all these dudes. Gold. Wait, it's this dude? I got stuff from him. Boom, boom. Got that, got that. Oh, I didn't search over here. Potion. Ah, oh, there's just more. Olaf and the dragon. What in the world is that? One of the more colorful legends in Nord folklore is the tale of Olaf One-Eye and Numenix. Long ago in the First Age, a fearsome dragon named Numenix ravaged the whole of Skyrim. The dreadful drake wiped out entire villages, burned cities, and killed countless Nords. It seemed that no power in Tamriel could stop the monster. This was a troubled time in Skyrim's history, for a bitter war of succession raged between the holds. The Jarls might have been able to conquer... Con conquer... The beast, if they had worked together, but trust was in desperately short supply. A skillful warrior named Olaf came forward and promised to defeat the beast. In some accounts, he's the Jarl of Whiterun. In other versions of legend, Olaf promises the people of Whiterun that he will capture the monster if they will name him Jarl. At any rate, Olaf ventures forth with a handful of his most trusted warriors and seeks the beast out, eventually finding Numenex in his lair atop Mount Athor. Needless to say, it's an epic battle! First, Olaf comes at the dragon with his axe and his shield. Some variants of the legend say that Olaf and the beast battled with blade and claw for days, but were too evenly matched for either to gain an advantage. Most accounts hold that Olaf, perhaps frustrated that his weapons are completely ineffectual against the dragon, finally casts them aside. Giving voice to the rage that has been building within him, Olaf unleashes a terrible shout. Here again, the stories diverge. Many accounts hold that Olaf did not realize he possessed the power of dragon speech, while others suggest that he had long possessed this gift, but wished to test himself against the dragon in martial combat first. Virtually all variations of the legend, however, agree on what happened next. Oops, my bad. What happened next? <laughs> Using the awesome powers of the dragon language, Numenex and Olaf engage in an epic shouting duel atop Mount Athor. So forceful are their words, they are set to shatter the stone and split the sky. Finally, Numenex collapses from a combination of injury and sheer exhaustion. Somehow, and this detail is conspicuously absent in virtually every account, Olaf manages to convey the to, yeah, to convey the dragon all the way back to the capital city of Whiterun. The people of Whiterun are suitably impressed with Olaf's hostage. They build a huge stone holding cell at the rear of the palace, which they rename Dragon's Reach. Ah, this enormous cell serves as Numenex's prison until his death. See, I'm glad I read this because now I'm learning about the lore of Whiterun. Olaf himself eventually becomes the High King of Skyrim, putting an end to the War of Succession. Presumably, his great deed made him the only leader upon whom all the people could agree, and so the land once again has peace. As a visitor to Skyrim, I find this tale both fascinating and highly entertaining. It is one of the most celebrated legends of the Nords, and one can easily understand why. It's a story of surpassing heroism, in which a resourceful and worthy Nord does battle with a truly terrifying adversary, and emerges victorious by yelling him into submission. The only way in which this could have been even more of a Nordic tale would be if Olaf beat Numenex in a drinking contest. The legend is not without his doubters, however. The bard Svaknir, bard Svaknir, who lived during Olaf's reign, wrote and performed an alliterative verse that challenged Olaf's version of the events. Enraged, the High King threw the rebellious bard in prison and destroyed all written copies of the verse. How I would love to lay hands on a copy of that verse. I admit I'm mentally curious to know what assertions Svaknir made about how Olaf really defeated Numenex. There are a few ancient bard texts that provide one possible answer. These tomes suggest that Numenex was particularly foul-tempered because he was extremely old. In his accounts, the dragon spends his final years terrorizing the countryside before flying off to the top of Mount Athor to die in peace. When Olaf finds Numenex, the dragon is too weak to defend himself. Olaf and his men capture the beast without effort but decide to take advantage of the situation by fabricating a heroic tale that sounds more... possible? It is worth noting that all of Olaf's warriors who were said to witness the shout duel went on to become wealthy leaders during Olaf's reign as High King. Ah, okay, yep, yep, makes sense. However, it is equally likely that Svaknir had some grudge against Olaf, 
and his scandalous verse was an attempt to damage the High King's reputation. Alas, we'll never know. I leave you now, good reader, with this gentle reminder. A good historian must remain impartial, and consider all points of view. Time is a way of distorting our record of events, so the closer you can get to the original sources, the better. That's a good book. I liked that one. That's one of the better ones. I'll remember that now, because it, it has to do with the... What can I not take a skull? It has to do with the history of Whiterun. Scourge of the Great Quarter, The Wolf Queen, Volume 7, The Real Berenzia, Volume 2, Biography of Berenzia, Volume 2, Frontier Conquest, uh, Antecedents of Dwemer, Law, Cats of Skyrim, The Real Berenzia, Volume 4, Pirate King of the Abyssine, Frontier Conquest, The Firmament. Oh my goodness, there's there's a lot. Can I can I just You know what? Just 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 give them all to me. I th I think I probably I forgot that I could take books. I think when I was at the Bandit Tower and I just didn't grab them, so I'm just going to take all these. I'm not going to read them, but I'm going to take them. So at least I've got them to read if someone says that they're worth in they're worth reading. If they're interesting and they're worth reading. So, if any of these are interesting and worth reading besides Olaf and the Dragon, which I in thoroughly enjoyed, let me know. And I uh, will check them out next episode. Because I know y'all love to comment with little tips and things to help. And yeah, I was going to do a blind playthrough on this. But I think commenters just helping out a little bit is good. Especially with a game like this old. There's some things that I might miss. Like this old with a lot of lore to it. Like I'm going to skip a lot of stuff if I don't know some things. So Thank you for your help, commenters. I, I don't mind it. Yes! Oh, cabbages! Let's go. Alright, uh, my moment of freaking out is over. Sorry about that. What's in this chest? There better be some good stuff. Okay, 67 gold. That's respectable. Completely restore magic. I'm literally almost full. Ooh, but this, ooh, but this is 412 value. I don't know if I'll use this. You know what? I'm just going to take it and then I'm going to drop him some stuff. Let me see. Miscellaneous. What can, I, what can I throw in here that's like worth some stuff? Whoa, 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 whoa. Something happened in my... Okay. All right. For some reason, my OBS is scrolling. Like my, my Twitch history is scrolling. That's weird. Okay. Uh... What's, what's like, what's heavy? What's heavy? Any of these that are like heavier that I can hold? I, mean, I have a decent amount of gold. I'm like, I'm like a good chunk of the way there to get in a house, actually. Oh, all the books weigh stuff, don't they? I'm actually just probably going to drop this shield, not going to lie. Yeah. Those, those books all... Man. Wait, what's this? What's this 10? Dragon scale. Oh, that's what I was going to sell. But I couldn't. Because the dude didn't have enough. Uh, I don't want to leave the books, but at the same time. All right. If any of them are super, super duper worth it, I guess let me know to come back. But I'm just going to throw out some of these. You know what? Just... <sighs> ah, whatever. I'm just gonna drop the shield. I'm just gonna... Just, 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 just take it. Take it. Take the shield. I, I don't care. Something to get rid of. I did drop, drop the shield, right? Why does it... Okay. Whatever. Let's keep going. I've wasted enough time here already. So what's the point of coming here? What is my goal here? Also, do I have... Do I have a torch or something? I guess that'd be nice. Hmm. Is there a boss at the end of this or something that I can... Check out some snowberries. Wee, wee. 
sick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a whole bear hide in here. I didn't kill this dude. Open door. There's more? The hurry? Shut up, Lydia. Gosh, you're annoying. Alright, I'm at the upper level of the cave. Get blocked. No. I'll kill you. Again with a crit. Man. What constitutes getting a critical hit? Is it just random chance? Let me know. Because sometimes it just kind of works that way. Sick. Let's go. All right. Um... So, this is a dead end. Have I successfully done everything I can here? Oh, let me, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, this just goes back to the beginning, doesn't it? I think I've successfully looted the cave. I think I have done all I can, and I should just leave now. Well, that was a good side venture, actually, for real. Got a lot of good stuff. Read some entertaining books. Got a lot of gold. I now have 1643 when I just had about a thousand before I set off from Whiterun, so we're making a good time. Alright, back on the horse. Now we need to continue going south, but I have to come around this way in order to do that. So, the horse can swim. Did I know that? Did I do that before? I don't recall. What's the fastest way to High Hrothgar to speak with the Greybeards? Going in the right direction, right? I can't read that, but I'm assuming yes. It's too bright. Oh my goodness, look at the scenery. This game is so pretty. Hey, 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 chill! What are, what are you... Hey, hey! Stop! Did my, my horse just kick it to death? W horse, man. Okay. Love to see it. Let's keep going. Pleasantly gallivanting on my way to see the Greybeards. Don't know if, uh, if I should go up here. I mean, I need to head over this way, so possibly. You know, maybe I should have just come around the... Oh, no. This, this way looks more treacherous. So, probably not, actually. I think I'm just going the correct direction. Oh, hello, little jackrabbit. Now, should I... What, um... Where would this take me? <laughs> this goes up more, but it's back around this way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna take this path. We'll see where this leads me. Because if this curves around to the south a bit more, this could be a good path. Ooh, 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 okay, possibly. Let's keep trying. The horses can run up sheer cliff faces, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Of course. Ah, 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 ah. See? I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Oh, this music's so pretty. Oh, <gasps> the sun over the hills and the... Oh, look at the little autumn trees. Oh, my goodness, dude. Okay, okay. What's the... Um, 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 um. I'm gonna look this up. TFC, that's what it was. Uh, uh. Huh? Um, okay. Okay, all right, 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 we're, we're good. I just, something got horrifically messed up there that first time. Oh my goodness, look at the, 
they're okay, they're kind of ruining the scenery right there, not gonna lie. But look at like the autumn trees with the mountain in the background. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Alright, can we freeze, please? It's so beautiful. I need to get lower though. I need to get like here. Oh. I, I hate said screenshot! Bro, bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm hitting the screenshot button. What is happening currently? I'm hitting the screen. What's happening? Just gonna restart the game real quick. I'm gonna do a test screenshot here. Okay, good. It works now. Well, hopefully it was here. Let me just go here. Hit him. Hit him with a TFC. Hit him with a TM. And then, uh... oh my goodness, it's even prettier now. Oh. Let me hit him with a fly up in the air aerial view of this whole place. Wow. Wow, this game is so beautiful. Okay. All right. Continuing on the path to the southwest. Oh, man. This game really hits in the visual department. What do you mean? What? 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 Oh! Oh! Lydia! 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 Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I need your help! I need your help! There's a saber cat on me! Help! 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 Lydia! I've contracted Whitbane! Whatever that means! I'm dead! Lydia! Lydia! Where are you? Oh my goodness, she's useless. Uh, I'm gonna pray this thing doesn't come get me. And yep, 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 it's back. I am just running, that's all. I'm gonna pretend it's not there. Can we go faster? Mr. Horse, please. Who are you? I don't know who you are, but, um... Are you adversarial? Oh, hello. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. What is the Imperial business? Staring at a tree? Oh, you have a prisoner. Imperial business. Be on your way. This is none of your concern, citizen. Okay, okay, gosh! For what? I'm trying to... You, whatever, whatever. Whoa! Uh, I guess it's night now. That's good to know. That was abrupt. This is probably not the intended path. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I'm not picking my nose. This is probably not the intended path to get this way. But I am taking it nonetheless. I'm trying to see if there's an easier way to get up here, but I don't think so. Does the horse have a stamina meter? Why is he running so slow? There we go. Okay. Ivarstead discovered. Amazing. I've made it. Okay, so I need to talk to the gray beards here. I'm assuming I need to climb the path to High Hrothgar. But at least I've made it. Is there... Can I... Thanks for your cabbage donation. Everyone has to pay the cabbage toll. When I show up into your house. Okay, currently 7.20pm. I'm probably going to find a place to maybe sell my wares and or sleep. We shall see. What is this? There we go. It's the inn. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Can I sell stuff here? Excuse me. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? You want to know? You want to know why I'm here? Boosh! That's why I'm here. Anyway.
Y'all got a place to sleep? Bears are making Miss Temba so angry. Hello, my friend. Where'd you come from? What can I do for you on such a fine day? Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar. It's odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there. But I bet the Greybeards know. Okay. Uh, you seem quite happy. You used my mouse with my left hand. This is so weird. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So, I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. Isn't that all <laughs> he got up just to get in another chair. <laughs> it's like, I don't like this spot. I'm gonna go sit over here. Away from here tomorrow, What's up, Bassianus? Still has so much Anxious. Hmm? What do you want? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks. Bassianus anxious? What do you got for me? That, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Okay, cool. Bye. <sighs> what a boring conversation. If I I'd feel, like to rent a room. What have you got for sale? Hmm? Bro has no gold. Okay, well, I can at least sell. Oh my goodness, I can't even sell the big stuff. Ah! Drink for the thirsty, food. Okay, I I want to. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Where am I staying, good sir? I would like a place to sleep for the night. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You got it, sir. Good night. I'm gonna sleep till. Let's go. Should we go twelve hours? Have a good rest. Yeah, let's go 12 hours. Wake up at 8 a.m. Good night's sleep. Ah! He awakened feeling... You talking to me or her? Or both of us? Lydia? Thoughts? Okay. We need to... We're, we're on a mission. We can't talk about this right now. But later... Once I get us a house... You then we'll see. Just passing through. Uh, a bit of both, actually. I'm... On a, summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. That's me! I'm the Dragonborn! Look at how... Gorgeous this little autumn place is. I love golden autumn vibes. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We're back. We're back. Okay. I need to find out how to climb the 7,000 steps and get to the Greybeards. Actually, no, let me see if there's a shop. Like a dedicated shop where I can actually sell things instead of just a dude who will only take food. That's a house. Do you not have a general store? Ooh, a majestic moose in the background. Do you not have just a general store? That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm I'm screenshotting this. Sorry, I, I have to. Wow. Sick. Okay. Where is this general store? I'm getting tired of having all the stuff in my inventory and not being able to run sometimes. Do you not just have a store? Oh my goodness. This is painful. What do you have in your barrel? See, I don't even want to take this stuff because it's just going to can put me over the weight. There we go. Yeah, exactly. See? Told you. Books. Oh, I do have a lot of books. Actually, I'm just going to drop some of these books. Sorry. Not going to drop the, the tomes or the fishing maps or anything. But stuff like this. Argonian Journal, Lover's Journal, Brief History of the Empire, Cats of Skyrim, Heretical Thoughts. What is this, actually? Did I, did I read Heretical Thoughts? Zealotry is an abomination that must be wiped from the ship. Okay. K 
killing before you're killed. That looks fun. Why can I not mouse? Okay. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. The Book of the Dragonborn looks... Just drop 50 books on the ground. Oh, no. Where's the Book of the Dragonborn? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks important, see? Maybe I'll take that. Here, guys. Uh, I'm setting up a library shop. 500 gold a book. These are rare books that you can't get anywhere else in Skyrim, I promise. Alright, we have to show up to the 7,000 steps on horseback to show them how majestic we are. I am the Dragonborn here to learn from the Greybeards. What is this? Oh, I've been afflicted with something, haven't I? Or was that just a temporary thing? Eh, must have been a temporary thing. Etched tablet. Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. But the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Intriguing. Let us continue, my dear Lydia. Who needs... Who needs to worry about 7,000 steps... When you have a horse that can scale them all instantly. At least I'm assuming this is the the right way, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had to go here, then I have to go up this way. Beautiful scenery. Wow. Oh, majestic. Oh, hello. Are you a friend or foe? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the Greybeard's call? Dovokin! I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeard's? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Well, thankfully, I'm not a visitor. They called for me. Who make the trip leave them food or, or I'm not sentences. just a visitor. But not to make conversation. Okay, see ya. Aye. Aye. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Oh, dude wasn't kidding about the wolves. I'm gonna try to avoid them if I can, but I think they're just gonna follow me to the ends of the earth. Because I can't go- Okay, and there's two of them. Alright, okay. Lydia. Lydia. Help. Why is the ice wolf so stupid strong? Stop killing my horse, little bro. Come here. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Hunt him down. Oh, crit arrow animation. Let's go. Where, where did Lydia go? Dude, she's useless. Oh my goodness, you're so slow. We have a little marker with a, a little flag on it. Shall I continue this way? Oh, we found emblem three. More lore about the dragons. Oh. I'll take the gold, sure. Emblem three. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons in their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Intriguing. Let us continue. It is quite cold up here, Lydia. If you get a little chilly, I've heard body heat is good for keeping warm. So, if you would like 
a purely platonic, just to keep you warm hug, then then let 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 me know because I shall oblige if you insist. We shall see. Oh, we have another. Oh, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Are we supposed to do this? Is this scripted? Ah uh, ha ha! Oh, I missed. Ha, 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 ha. Excuse me, I've got Lord Reed. Kine called on Peritharnax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. The dragon will rage dragon against tongue. Fusroda? Fusro where? Quite thrilling, ha 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 Fire on the beast! Bada boom! Oh my goodness, I've missed! I've missed again! I'm so bad at this game! Fell the foul beast! Foul dragon! I will have your hide! Let me level up real quick. Health, more health. <laughs> Sorry, sound like I'm sick or something now, but I'm not. Foul beast! Ah! Foul beast, I will have your ah! your hide! Come hither! I will I will beat your legs off! Foul creature! Horse! Assist me! Two handed increase to 39! Oh my horse is dying, oh boy. Back to the bow! Bring him down! Teach him a lesson he'll never forget! I'm missing every single shot of this. It's quite embarrassing, actually. To the fifth! Oh! 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 He's, he's burning me. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I am on fire! Almost there! Almost there! And he's dead! We have felled! Another mighty dragon. Let's go. Do I get another word? Do I learn Fusro? Lydia, will you marry me? I'm so cool right now. I'm the Dragonborn Lady, what can I say? Keep an eye out for wolves. Give it up and pass the fight off. Keep an eye out for wolves, bro. What about a whole dragon? Did you hear the graybeards called Dovahin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Yeah, I'm just that cool. Who are you, first of all, by the way? I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Okay, keep your secrets. Walking the steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Do you see a dragon every few years? Walking the steps. Okay, shut up. Meditating no, no on one the cares. No, shut up! I make this dragon bone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of how does the dragon have I'm not I'm not even gonna question it. Five hundred, dude. I need this. I need to drop some of this stuff. Where is most of my... <clears throat> sorry. Where is most of my weight coming from? 300? From what? Surely it's not just... Uh, huh? That's two. That's two. Five, five, point three, five. Like, the, that stuff's not a lot. Where's the several hundred... Every few years. Oh my goodness, dude. Come on. It scrolls. That's not a lot. The food. Am I just carrying, like, miscellaneous stuff? I'm just gonna drop some stuff. I don't need. I probably need a cave bear pelt. Dragon scales, I'll keep. The 500 dragon scales. I don't think I need the drum. Lovagin. Lovagin. 
Dovakin, kin, 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 Dovakin. What in the world should I drop? Oh, I do have a torch. Oh, sick. Uh, Mr. Out of my favorite, just for fun. Oh, the favorites. That. There we go. Welkin stone. Wolf pelt. Food. I have a lot of food. That might be it. It may be the 58 cabbages that are kind of contributing to some of that. <laughs> it may be the 58 cabbages. <laughs> Uh, that are contributing to some of my weight. However, am I willing to give it up? No. Not one bit. You know what? I'll... I'll eat some cheese. How about that? How about eating some cheese? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take all that. I need to drop some stuff. Gonna drop some wine, I guess. I'll drop some of that cheese, because that cheese is a lot. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I have two Olaf and the Dragons, so I can probably throw out one. You know what? Just throw out both of them. Get rid of the Pirate King. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Get rid of the letter. You know, the letter probably didn't even have any weight to it, actually. So it doesn't matter. Skirt to the Grey Quarter. Drop that, sure. Drop Saints and Seducers. Oh my goodness. These are worth a lot, though. Like, I want to sell them. But people don't have enough money for me to give them the stuff I want to sell. Uh, I'll drop a Saber Cat pelt. Hey, you know what? I'll give up the drum, too. Okay, whatever. Let me know if any of that was stuff I shouldn't have given up. But I want the big money stuff. I want the big money... So I can sell for big money. So I... Why is that thing glowing? Give me a second. Is this the letter from a friend? Yeah, it has zero weight, so I don't... Really care. I'll take it. Whatever. Let's continue. Oh my goodness. You know, the 7,000 steps... Are a little bit more annoying... When there's dragons... What, what is that? What is that red dot? Don't tell me there's another dragon. Okay, what is the... I'm scared to turn around. Oh, it's a frost troll. Yo, he's got a lot of health, dude. He's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of health. I'm gonna die. I'm straight up going to die. Give me... Healing, healing. What if I, what if I foose him, and then maybe I use some, um, some flames. If he's a frost troll, he's got to be weak to flames, right? Get away from me! Get away from me! Let's go! W. <laughs> Sick. All right. We killed him. Troll fat. Amazing. Where'd my horse go? Where'd my horse go? Wait, for real? Where'd my horse go? Let me read this first, though, actually. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Where did my horse go? Go. Where's my horse? Can you call your horse or something? Or is he just... Like, what? Hang on. Skyrim, can you call your horse? Well, there's no call feature in Skyrim. You can make your horse appear next to you by fast traveling. Okay. Well, good to know. I may just have to take the rest of the steps on my own without my trusty steed because I don't know where he went. He just up and vanished. And I have to make this whole trek all by myself. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice whilst the dragons withdrew from this world.
Imagine having to run up the 7,000 steps on your own. This is ridiculous. Where did my horse go for real? And where's Lydia? I'm on foot now and she can't even keep up. Maybe I take back what I said about this woman. Okay, okay, she's coming, she's coming. I thought you left me! Stay near me! The purely platonic hug offer is still on the table. If it interests you. Unless... Well, that certainly looks promising. Definitely some sort of something or other. What have we got here? And we... Emblem 9. I missed a few. For all your silent, the graybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septim. Stripling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed him and named him Dovakin. Is that right? That, that means Dragonborn, right? I think. I'm uncertain, but I think. Hi, Hrothgar discovered! Let's go! Can I get a... Oh, that chest is empty. Empty. Dragon's tongue. Potion of minor stamina. A large sack. What you got in the sack? Soul piles! W? Okay. You know what? Give me the flowers. I don't care. I journeyed all this way. I'm taking something for it. Give me this. Give me all that stuff. I need it. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello, I have been summoned, and I have brought my what? I mean, companion with me. Ooh, 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 the atmosphere of this place. That's sick. Hello, good sir, Greybeard. Hello. A dragonborn appears. Yes, it does. He and McKellen. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have. Voos! Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. You want it? Boost! You asked for it. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Let's go, now W me. Tell me. Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I was hoping you'd tell me that, because you came and you you yeah. I'm answering your summons, Master. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Okay. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? Obviously, bro. Did you read a book? My goodness. You're not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age. That is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Interesting. Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinavith's sacred mountain. I Here figured we that. With the voice of the sky strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Okay. I'm answering your summons, master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Now show me how to kill everybody. We will teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Which is killing everybody, right? What is my destiny? It is for you to discover. Aha, it is killing everybody. Way, but not your destination. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. Yeah, I do. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Also, yes. That remains to be seen. Okay. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Yeah, you want to see it again? Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, teach me, teach me. With your dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All Who is this creep just standing here? Words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you row. Let's go. Second word 
in unrelenting force. Okay, Einar. Einar. In the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. That's it. You just say row. What in the world was that? What happened? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I am studying. Fus. Okay, why is the dialogue so quiet? I have it higher than any other one, and it's still the quietest one. <laughs> Truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. I just did. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Pusro. Ready? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to hit him with it. Pusro. Ah. Hold it down, okay. Fus Roda. I'm gonna Lydia, you're in the middle of the battlefield here. Again. Was your brain on cooldown? Come on, cooldown, hurry up. You learn quickly. Once more. Yeah, I do. Yeah, get knocked, bro. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Wow, I can say words. <laughs> we will perform your next trial <laughs> in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Bori? More like boring. Let's get this over with. Why are you walking so slow? Come on, come on! I'm here. Oh my goodness. Cool place you got here. Can I live here? It's kind of sick. Where are we going, Bori? You haven't said a word to me, and I'm concerned. Do you want me to unlock the gates with my shout? We will now see what are you... you learn a shifty eyes? What are you looking at? Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Hmm. Whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Lydia, why are you standing right here? Why are you standing on the word? I have approached. I have approached. Can we do approach any further? A whoosh. How do I change? Shouts. Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Sprint? Okay. Master Bori. X. Oh. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind. How do I to pass through before it closes? Hello? Wait, how do I- Try it again. Shut up! What do I do? How do I change my shout? Breath. 
How do I... How do I do this? Inventory... Is it in magic? It's probably in magic. Let me check. Shouts. Whirlwind sprint. Okay. I'm gonna put that on favorite. And then so I can go... Boom. Whirlwind sprint. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Get out of the way, dude. I'm sprinting in front of you. <clears throat> All right. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the story. I'm I'm him. What can I say? Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use To it. kill everyone. I've you I've told you this. For your last trial. What you got for me? The horn of Jorgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of no. Not right now, at least. To the way of the voice, I've been recording long enough. Complete the way of the voice. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. Okay. You focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Cool. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Uh. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windcaller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Why don't the others talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. So what you're saying is you're not as powerful as the others. So they picked you, the weakling, to do all the training. Cool, I want to learn from someone who's stronger. Um, I don't care about lore. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice, according to the teaching. I already asked that question. I forgot that I already asked that question. Case, <laughs> Shut up! Who was Jürgen Windcaller? war leader of the ancient Nords. Master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of cool, the Cool, 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 cool. That's cool. Sky above, your training proceeds well. Why are the shouts in the dragon language? been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. And now I'm Most learning how. Years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. And I could but do it instantly because I'm him. Is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? What does it mean to be dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later when you are ready. Does this have to do with the civil war and I have to bring peace or something? 
There are only four of you. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Okay. When can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Okay, where is the path though, bro? Come on. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only he said that true before, though. mastery of the voice can only be achieved in other He said that when I asked him a different thing. Actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Cool. All right. Uh, but I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? Because I'm dragonborn. Duh. The dragonborn is an exception. I'm just that rules. cool. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, because I'm him, bro. Like literally. As dragonborn. You it's have that the simple. To shout directly from Akatosh. Yeah, I have. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift. Which we therefore seek to befriend you before you kill everybody. Alright, cool. Wind got you. Thank you, bro. Okay, so can I just pull out a torch at any time? Oh, sick, I can. Up. Oh! Did not mean to do that. Sorry. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. Lydia, put that away. Mwah. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Got some good stuff done today. Raided a cave. Found the Greybeards. Raided another thing. Bandit camp. Got a bunch of money. I now currently have 1810 gold. So I am substantially on my way to getting a house. Still have to save up some more. I have to find somebody, like a vendor, who actually has money. So I can trade some of the 500 gold ones. Because I've got some stuff that's worth a lot. Like the dragon bone. This is worth 500. The user worth 250. So that's... That's a thousand right there, bro. Like, it's... I have a lot of cash just sitting here in stuff to sell. So I need to find somebody to sell it to. So let me know if there's a good person who has a lot of cash on them that I can sell this to. Other than that... I'll figure out what to do next. So up next, we've got this quest here where I have to go and not that one. Get that out of here. Where I have to retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller from his tomb. Cool. That'll be an interesting quest to do, but that's for next time. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all in my next Skyrim episode, which will hopefully not be a month from now. So thanks for being patient, though. Appreciate it. I'm not abandoning this series or anything. I'm just busy. So, catch you later. Thanks for all the support. Bye-bye.